You ever wonder why? Mm. Doodle hadn't gone to that next level. It's because Doodle cut from a different cloth. Going back into your name, Doodle Brown. Yeah. You know, you said you got inspired by a record. Mm -hmm. um, and then, do you think that name ever like interferes with your trajectory in your career? It used to. People, well, people said it did. Mm. What people, was people, a couple people tried to tell me I need to change my name. Okay. Yeah. Was this like management, agents? Motherfuckers. Just people that thought they know what the fuck they talking about. Okay. Yeah. What did, but what? I wasn't I was, I was never trying to be that, man. You know? Mm -hmm. I wasn't trying to be industry like that. I wanted to be a hardcore motherfucker like Richard Pryor. Like Red Fox. Mm. And they played Vegas. That's mainstream as it get, Vegas. So don't tell me I can't be Doodle Brown in Vegas. Yes, the fuck I can. I, I don't know what you see. I don't see that. So I appreciate the, you know. Is that like a sweeter victory for you? If you can play the game your way and then get, get in lights or, you know, you could play the game a certain way and get that, get that too. What do you mean play the game a certain way and get that too? Like. Let's say Vegas is like the pinnacle. pinnacle. Yes. Let's say that. You can win as Doodoo Brown. Uh huh. That might be a long road. Uh huh. Going through different trials and whatever. Right. right. Or you can switch it up and go by, what's the government name again? John Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> and make it there quicker? Possibly. Possibly, see? It ain't even a guarantee either way. Right. You so dig? I'm just saying, do you are you more into the aspect of I wanna win it my way and I'll go through the, the master gauntlet, or you wanna start conforming? Is that no conforming. Okay. Good. I'm glad you that was a trigger word. <laughs> conforming. There will be no conf conformation. Mm. Yeah. No, nah, man, when I saw a comedy, it was immediate in my mind. Mm -hmm. You need a stage name, mm -hmm. not your own. And you need theme music, mm -hmm. you know? Even though I, I really, I, I could care less to hear the song these days because I've heard it so many hundreds of times. But still, that was my theme song, my name, the character, the gold teeth. Yeah. Uh, no, you know what? I did conform. Okay. I have to take that bat back, America. I, you, you notice I no longer have my grill. I okay. don't have the gold teeth. Okay. You know why? I got a call from, let's just say, Hollywood on two occasions. People that said they had been looking for me. Mm -hmm. You know, man, we got these projects coming up. Man, I'm so glad I found you, man. We, you know, so I, we've been looking all over, da da da, and we got you. We finally, we got you, man. So, so I'm, so I'm gonna send you the script. You know, this is for you. I made this for you. Mm. You know, it, it's a done deal. It's a wrap. And they, then they would call me right back. Oh, 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 oh! One more thing. One more thing. Those, those, your, your goals, you pull, those pull out, right? Mm. I'm like, no, they don't pull out, they permanent. I would have to go to the dentist to get them taken out. They was like, oh, okay, well, let me make a phone call and I'm gonna call you right back. And both times I lost the gig because my gold teeth were permanent. Mm. And I, I, God is trying to tell you something. So you needed like an immediate. God is right, right. I knew in my heart what that was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when I saw comedy for the first time, mm -hmm. thank you, Chocolate, comedian Chocolate from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, introduced me to stand up comedy for real, for real. Mm -hmm. um, when I first saw it, I knew in my heart that I could do that. I knew that. And when that second go round, they said, well, well, well um, quick question. 
those gold teeth, they come out, right? And I was like, no. And they was like, let me make a phone call <laughs> and see. <laughs> and then they called back like, nah, man, we can't, we can't do it. With this character don't call for gold This was teeth. like early on in your career? Or mm -hmm. like no, right. I've been doing comedy shit at least 10 years, at least 15 years. Yeah, and when you hear something like that, because a so guy- I like, did conform and take my gold teeth out. Yeah. They were fucking my teeth up though anyway, so. Yeah. I needed to, I needed to do that. Did it like, did you take it kind of easy? Like, was it a quick, like, you know what, I need to change it? Or did you really have to have a moment with yourself? That was the moment. That was that the quick. moment. Okay. Yeah, because that was the second time that happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I hear, I hear the Lord's voice when he speaks to me. Right. I, you know, when chastising or whatever. What's been the back, the back end of that? Like, fans that know you, did they ever mention, like, where your grill at? Or They may, but that's it. That's as far as it go. Okay. Did you used to have a grill? Yeah, I did. I used to have a grill. Used to. For sure. But even looking at it, it's like, Doodoo Brown could be further. Do you hear that conversation? Like, oh, you could be much further. Why? You? No, they say why. Okay, why you want further? Why? Why you? Yeah, seem like you would blow it up, man. Seem like you know. What do you man? think they mean by that? When they hit you with that question, they mean they they thought they'd see me b bigger. You know, I mean, I've done, I've done everything. Yeah. TV. You know, I got. Extensive TV credits. I got movie credits. Mm -hmm. You know, I've done, but not on a scale. Not on a, you know, I haven't had my own show. Weekly, you know what I'm saying? You think that's I haven't that had a, a a major motion picture where I'm the star thereof. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone to that particular level. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you what uh, Kevin Wasson told me. Okay, who's Kevin Wasson? Kevin Wasson is, uh, he used to be Ricky Smiley's manager. Okay. And uh, as a matter of fact, he told, my, uh, he told my wife this. He said, you ever wonder, I was, I was getting a standing ovation at Uptown Comic Corner. He said, you ever wonder why uh, Doodle's never gone to the next level? Because he won't sell out. He refuses to sell out. In order to go to the next level, you have to sell out. That's a quote from Kevin Wasson. You ever wonder why mm. Doodle hadn't gone to that next level? It's because Doodle cut from a different cloth. That level ain't meant for me. I want to stay in my lane with my Lord, you know what I'm saying? The selling out, because that can mean a, a plethora of things. Yes, it can. The selling out mean you take disrespect. The selling out mean uh, yeah. you take less than what you worth. Yeah. The yeah. selling out mean doing things that is against your yeah. morals. Yeah. The selling out mean backstabbing people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you choose not to do that. No, nah, I don't fuck. I don't fuck around. My mama didn't raise that type of man. Yeah. No, nah, she didn't raise that type of man. I don't get. I don't like that. You know, some some cats just want it so bad. Have you seen it? Where have you seen guys that you started with? What? <laughs> like literally, y'all in the same vibe, but you see him change or see her change. Mm -hmm. And you look at them and Yeah, I done slept on the floor with cats. Yeah. That I ain't even got their phone number now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They had a whole new group of motherfuckers around them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. where did these motherfuckers when we were struggling, nigga? Where was these niggas? Right. Who are these niggas? Where they come from? They look right. off brand as fuck. What the fuck? You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, man.